Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. So this video is gonna be one like you've not seen on this channel before. And hopefully we'll be doing a few of these. As you can tell, I've been running a weed eater. Last year, Hope got me a Husqvarna string trimmer for Father's Day. Awesome. It ran good. Did everything I wanted it to do. I was doing some string trimming there at the house, or as we call them, weed eaters at the house and I leaned it up against the tailgate of my truck went in the house get me some water while I was in the house I was like why don't I go to Mimi and Papa's which is what uh, Weston and Wayland calls their grandparents and go swimming with the boys instead of doing this for another hour or two so I go hop my truck back up run it over I mean bust the head everything on it Motor's still good, shaft's still good, but all the plastic is toast. So, you can't find those parts anywhere. Or at least I can't. So, this spring, I was going to buy a weed eater. And I got an email from a company. And they said, hey, we got a product we want you to review. Well, the product they wanted me to review was a 20-volt string trimmer and blower combo. I ain't got no use for that. Uh, Battery-powered stuff is useless for me because... We have about 13 acre little farm here and battery powered stuff is useless for me. So I looked online and they had a 52 cc string trimmer. And I told them or sent them an email back and said, if you wanted me to review this product, I will. Now this string trimmer, when it comes, it's got the string trimmer head. It's also got a bush blade and you can also take the end of it off and there's attachments that goes with it. Uh, trying to think what the attachments are. You can put a pole saw on it. I think they got two or three other different things. But anyway, they sent me the string trimmer. And I told them that I'm going to do an honest review on it. So I've been running this string trimmer for going on two weeks now. And as you can see in the videos, uh, it does a daggone good job. Uh, does good in the grass. One of the videos that I'm going to flip through is uh, me running through some weeds. We got some weeds out here that are real fibrous and a regular string trimmer that I'm used to running don't do too good with it. One, because they don't have the power and two, because of the string size. This one here comes with 2.8 size uh, string on it, which is a pretty good size string. And one issue that I've had with it is the string breaking off at the head. Now, here's a little short video on how to fix that. All right, so I had moved the video recorder over into the uh, horse trailer to try to cut the wind down. As you can see, the grass is moving in the background and it cut the wind noise down, but every time that the wind would hit the microphone on my iPhone, it would cut the volume way down. So we're going to do a voiceover on this. But right here, I'm showing you that the weed eater holds 2.8 millimeter uh, string. So if you're ordering this and want to uh, get you some other string, it's 2.8. And I'm trying to look at it. My eyes are going bad, so I had to really look at it pretty good. But what I'm doing here is uh, showing you the size of the string. And then I'm uh, in the process of trying to straighten it out this string trimmer string had been on here for so long that it had real bad memory in it and it was breaking it off at the head so what i'm doing now is trying to find the center of the uh the string and then i'm pushing it down in the center and now i'm going to wrap it around the uh the head you can't really see it in the video but there's arrows that tells you which direction that you need to uh, twist this on but after doing this, I didn't have any more issues with the uh, weed eater string breaking off at the top of the head. This is a common thing with uh, new weed eaters. That string actually gets a real bad memory in it and it won't uh, free feed like it's supposed to. Uh, between the shipping and all the other good stuff, it just overlaps itself. But what I'm doing here is just going around the spool and then there's places you can click the string into and it will hold it until you're ready to use it and put it into the head itself. On this string trimmer head, there's actually two different size holes on it. 
but that's all there is to it. Like I said, after I did that, didn't have any more issues. But after you put it in the head, then you can just snap it out and uh, put it in the holes of the string trimmer head and then put it back on your machine and you should be good to go. When I first got this string trimmer, I ran it for probably 45 minutes on one single tank of gas. It is a two stroke weed eater. So if you live in one of them states where you can't run uh, two stroke motors, one, I'm sorry, and two, you can't get these uh, shipped to you. And you probably have to go somewhere else and get them. But uh, I run it for about 45 minutes and I hit the high tensile wire with the head and it broke one of the ears off of it. And I was kind of aggravated about that. So even with the ear broke off of it, you could still use it. So I finished doing what I needed to do. I went back to the house and I sent them the company an email. And I was like, hey, here's what happened. And their reply was, we're sorry about that. We will put that in consideration and we will see if we can't find a company that can supply us with a little bit beefier uh, string trimmer head. Let us send you a replacement. So they sent me a replacement within four or five days. So I've been using it today and that's where I was having the trouble with the uh, string breaking off at the head. And I did what I showed you in that video and haven't had any issues since then. So there's no telling how long that string was wrapped around that head. So it's good to take it off and restring it. That way it, uh, it resolves that issue. It comes with a harness with a quick connect. And this video right here kind of gives you a, a, an idea of what it takes to clip and unclip. very nice because of the weight of the uh, string trimmer you need the harness because uh, it is a heavy weed eater it is not for somebody that can't tote it's a little bit of extra weight when you put it in the harness there's really no issue there because it's all hanging off the harness and uh, you can swing it freely from then on out as you can see in the string trimmer videos in another video we're going to put the bush blade on and actually work out here in the woods. I've got to cut some uh, more lines back here in the back for uh, for the electric fence that's coming through the back back here. And that's the reason why I wanted this weed eater is because it came with the uh, string trimmer. String trimmer and the bush blade. Because I was looking for a bush blade for the one that I ran over. But uh, let's see if I can walk back here and show you what we got. We've got leaves growing everywhere there's some type of bamboo type reed they don't get very high as you can see well it's kind of washed out they're right over here they get maybe five and a half six foot tall that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it because that's what the bush blades good for uh, the string trimmer it mows down everything as you can see in the video the bigger the bigger advantage to the bigger string is you can mow for weed eat or string trim up beside our woven wire fence with little to no issue. Uh, of course, the string's gonna break from time to time, but if you're using the regular size string like comes on most string trimmers, you buy at Lowe's and Home Depot and steel and all that other place, that string size is too small for going around woven wire fence. I don't spray around up under my fences because I don't want to. If you're going to grow food like everybody else does, then just go to the grocery store and get it off the shelf. Uh, save, you know, go on your weekend trips and all that other stuff. That's the thing about having a farm. You don't get to do all that stuff, but you get to dictate what your food eats and what's around them and everything else. So if I had to go out and buy this string trimmer, I would because of the weed eater issue, the head issue, and the little bit of weight of it, I would probably give it around a four, four, four and a half star review. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great weed eater. You uh, pump the bulb a couple times, flip it up on uh, start, pull it about three times and it'll hiccup. 
throw it down on room, pull it about twice and it fires right up. After it's running for a little bit, you can go back to that weed eater after you cut it off, pull it about once or twice, it fires right up. It has to warm up for about 10 or 15 seconds before it runs wide open like it's supposed to, but uh, it'll get on right on down with it. Uh, I don't have a problem running the weed eater. It's as, as enjoyable to uh, run. If you do decide to get one of these, I've got links below for this weed eater, and I'll also put the links down for that uh, battery-powered one and the, uh, the model step below this. I'm not getting paid for this video. They just sent me the weed eater for free. Uh, weed eater right now is 180, 190, something where thereabouts. Uh, but it's worth it. I do believe it's worth $200. If you had to go out and buy steel or Husqvarna, I think that would probably be in about the $400 range last time I looked at them. So if I was going to order another one, I would. So hopefully y'all will watch, enjoyed the video. If you click the link down below, it gives me a little bit of kickback if y'all uh, order it because it's an affiliated link. And uh, thank y'all for watching if you made it this far. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And we'll see y'all on the next one.